Um, let's see. Okay. So, uh, I just real quick, I threw just an IK arm in this guy. And I'm going to show you how it works. Um, just one controller. And it moves around like this. And I've got a twist function over here. And then I can grab the main spine and move it around. Pretty simple. I'll show you how to get that. So I'm going to load up my file before I skinned it. And I'm just going to go ahead and hide the polygons here so you can guys can kind of see the skeleton here. Uh, so one of the things you want to do when you're creating an IK arm or IK legs is you always want to give it a little bit of a bend in the elbow regardless of if the arm is straight because Maya doesn't know which way the elbow is going to bend unless there's a little bit of an angle. Does that make sense? Same thing for the yeah. knees. Same thing for knees. Same thing for the knees because uh, as you can see these particular knees they were modeled to where they're bowed backwards but I didn't care about that. I still gave them a a slight bend forward. So bad uh, bad modeler, don't model knees bowed backwards. Grumpy cat, <laughs> I'm talking to you. Uh, as you can see, I keep it pretty simple with the hips here. Just I only had a couple joints in here, not very much, and then I also gave it a clavicle joint uh, coming forward here, and then a neck and a head. Uh, so to throw an IK on here, I'm just going to double click my IK tool and uh, make sure you're on rotate plane solver and you want to go from the shoulder to the hand and then you want to create another one from the hand to the finger and then I'm going to parent the finger to the hand IK so that when I rotate it rotates that finger IK then I'm going to create a circle, rotate this 90 degrees, and uh, delete by type history, modify freeze transformations. I'm going to go ahead and group this IK. Actually, I won't group it. I'm just going to parent it directly to the controller. So now when I move the controller, or rotate the controller, it rotates the hand, okay? Uh, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to... Uh, IK has that twist function on it, right here. So I'm going to connect that to an attribute on the controller. So I'm just going to add attribute. I'm going to call it twist. I'm doing this on the controller. So now I'll bring up my general editor's connection editor. I'm going to load the controller on the left, click twist, load the IK on the right, connect that to twist. So now when I select my controller, I have a twist attribute here, which will control the twist on the elbow. The last thing I'm going to do is create a controller for the belly, because this arm controller needs to be parented to something so that when it's rotated, uh, it'll rotate around there. Again, delete history, modify freeze transformations. All you do is you parent this one to this one. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, parent constrain my controller to the upper spine here. So constrain parent. That rotates that. So now as you can see my control will rotate my arm and then my twist controller will rotate the elbow and the controller will rotate the hand um, so let's go ahead and skin it now select the guy and the skeleton and I'll just do a quick skin so now in here rotate this guy move and rotate the arm and then of course twist and that's it 
I'm gonna go ahead and put this video up on the uh, 